All right, we are approaching the Beanstalk Farm, at least that's what I'm calling it. It doesn't look like a farm. Yeah, we're at the right place. All right, so for the farm tour, I'm here with Kathy, right? Hey, everybody, how you doing? What is your title here with the company? I'm chief of staff here at Beanstalk. Chief of staff, okay. It starts to look like a farm very quickly. All right, here is Mike or Michael, last name? Ross. Ross, co-founder, CEO of Beanstalk. So he's gonna take us on a tour of the whole indoor farm here. And the first thing he's showing us is these water tanks because you all use water that you get just like everybody else does. Right. Because we use so much less water than traditional farming, we can use tap water. And right. so that's already been guaranteed safe to drink. Yep. And then what we do is we store it in a few tanks so that we always have fresh water available. And then we actually test on top of that right. to make sure it's safe to use in operation. So you need to put it in a tank to be able to test it. So that makes sense. Yeah, that way we batch it. Yep. Yeah. All right. We are in the Beanstalk facility. This is the soon to be open area. You're getting a sneak preview. I don't think any, very few, individuals other than workers have seen this, right? That's right. And Mike, you're gonna tell us what's going on here, like yeah. the highlights, what, what we need to know uh, for the novice farmers out here who are watching this video. Yeah, absolutely. So we grow a pretty wide variety of salad greens, herbs, and microgreens all in our farm here in Herndon. Um, everything starts from seed and it is grown in soil. And so you can see the workers here uh, filling up our, our plant trays with, uh, yeah. with that soil. Yeah, and I was commenting earlier that I, I've done this process in the greenhouse. It looks very familiar. This looks just like I'm used to. So I think you mentioned that you test your soil, right? We do. We test our soil, we test our water, um, and of course that water is, is, as we discussed, just tap water. Yeah, um, okay. But we make sure that everything is completely safe to eat. Everyone so that's goes even better. It. That's even better than what you would normally get on a farm. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, that's, that's right. important stuff because people are not sure. They're thinking, well, this is grown indoors somewhere. What's going on in there? Well, you guys are considering way more than the average farmer. So the average consumer out there needs to know this, I'd say, to, to be able to make an intelligent choice. Yeah, they get the benefit of all of our years of hard work and research. Yeah, that's right. And you were just mentioning you're on different iterations. Actually, why don't you go ahead into detail, not only about this, but anything else you want to talk about, where you talked about different, you're on like fifth and sixth generations of technology. What kind of technology is here? What are you designing? Because you're actually engineering and you have an engineering background too, right? Yeah. yeah, so my brother and I started the company about four and a half years ago with a year before that even doing some research. Um, so we've gone from the ground up quite literally. We've invented our own method of farming that incorporates soil and in indoor growing. Nice. And so we've, we've iterated the actual technology that grows the plant. We've iterated and built um, the infrastructure that holds the plants during their growth cycle. And then all of the machinery here is is custom built, designed, and uh, is being stocks. And you said that, uh, in talking to me earlier, you mentioned that there's a giant cost savings not only for you, but the consumer. And also you developed technology that you've optimized it. Uh, it wasn't really designed specifically for these tasks because you're kind of like a pioneer in this space, I'd say. Right? Yeah, so none of this existed. There's no John Deere for indoor farming. <laughs> right. So we had to build everything that we needed. Um, and we're able to produce a really wide variety of, of crops at the same price as you'd find in the grocery store. All right, I also want to mention something we, you and I talked off camera about the land savings and the efficiency of this operation that you know, you're only on a half acre of actual ground space that That's this right. building's on, yet you're producing how many acres of crops? We'll do a little over 60 acres of crops. Wow. Half an acre. That's huge. Um, exactly, and if you know, we're to succeed in our mission of helping people eat healthier food, um, and you all are to succeed in your mission. Uh, we just need a lot more healthy food. We need a lot yes. more fresh produce yes. available. Um, we just don't have the production in the United States to satisfy that demand. All right, so with the way things are now, if people, if Americans were to shift their diets into eating tons of greens, yeah. <laughs> right, there would be a major problem and a spike in the price that people wouldn't like. That's exactly right. All right, so you're, you're here to, to solve that issue. Absolutely. All right, so I just toured the farm, the air-conditioned farm, in my air-conditioned car. Got a few samples to take home. Take a look at these. Cannot wait to try these. And let me give you my little report and summary here on the visit so you can have my thoughts. Well, I'd say that overall, it exceeded my expectations, which I will tell you, anybody that knows me, knows me well, knows I don't give compliments out that often. So if I'm gonna tell you that it exceeded my expectations, that is really something. I mean, I think that, um, you know, in uh, touring the facility and talking with Mike, it's obvious that these guys are not only just 
getting into an existing market and solving problems, optimizing and making things better for the consumer, you know, in an area where consumers are already buying, which is these uh, salad mixes and things that you find in the produce section of the grocery store. But they also have a long-term vision and they are really looking at health optimization and doing things right, doing things better on just about every level they can and, and considering all the different possibilities there. So I highly recommend that you guys check the, check them out, check out Beanstalk, you know, check out their website. Uh, soon, pretty soon, this facility will be open to the public. So you got a sneak preview here in the video. So uh, comment below uh, with any of your thoughts uh, after seeing this video, or if you go and take a look at the facility yourself, what's going on? Because I think that it won't be long till you see more Beanstalk products and more stores. I know that Mike told me that they're in only like six Harris Teeter stores right now. So go to the website right now and uh, you can find out more about where to get it if you don't know. But in the future, I think that they're gonna be a lot more places, probably all over the place. So look out for that. The future is bright. Thanks so much for watching.